what what I want to say is for the people that because you were saying some people that have never fasted in their mm. life if you're one of those people um I challenge you to at least for one day 24 hours fast just for 25 hours just just to see how it is and just just be in prayer and just devote that that 24 hours wholly to God and see where that takes you see how that how that changes your life and I'll be honest with you it will most likely and I, I'm, I'm almost certain that it's gonna impact you and edify you in such a way that you'd want to do it more often and it will, it will help you in the long run um, so I challenge the, the the viewers here that that haven't yeah and the viewers the listeners that haven't um, fasted before I challenge you to try give it a go and look yeah. I mean it's biblical it, the Bible says it's actually for us mm -hmm. um, this is what hap what happened in Matthew 9 14 and 15 um, then John uh, sorry then John's disciples came and asked him how is it that we and the Pharisees fast often but your disciples do not fast mm -hmm. Jesus answered how can the guests of the bridegroom mourn while he is with them right he uh, the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them then they will fast and we took an example from Acts 13 that the early church did fast so for a Christian to say fasting is not for me that's maybe a personal preference but it's not biblical no, it's not. the Bible actually encourages you to have fasting as part of your life absolutely yeah and and some people do um like a um they, they might fast once a week twice a week or they might um do something in the beginning of the year or at the end of the year um they, they sometimes they do plan their fast and sometimes they might come through a situation where they feel like i really need to pay all of my attention put all of my effort into this is very important in my life or in someone else's life that are seeking help yeah i will give this to the lord and i will be fasting about it yeah 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 i think it's uh it's kind of like an amplification of um of our devotion it, it does kind of amplify the rest of our devotion so if you're reading the bible while fasting it's a lot more it's it's different it's mm. a completely different thing if you're um praying while fasting it's completely different prayer mm. if you're worshiping um you know singing songs and just raising your hands singing hymns while you're fasting it's completely different yeah and um and yeah that's why i think it's uh it should be part of our arsenal in our you know fight against um yes well what what would you say if someone is fasting and not praying not worshiping not praying that would be just a diet right yeah, just a diet, yeah. <laughs> so or you're trying to save money maybe yeah you, you're just basically starving yourself <laughs> so <clears throat> it's important that it, you can't just come with the mindset and saying god look i'm just gonna fast i'm already feeling grumpy i'm tired mm. i'm hungry <laughs> that's all i can give you mm -hmm. well that's not the right attitude to come no. in, into fasting it's better not to fast and than pray, fast and yeah. do it the wrong way right and a good example is in Isaiah 58, right? Mm -hmm. um, in Isaiah 58, they ask a question. Um, I'll try and bring it up. Um, this, is, um, th this is the people asking the question. Why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen? Why have we afflicted our souls and you take no notice? So they're asking this question. They're like, we're fasting. Yeah. God is not answering. We're afflicting our souls. And God is not even noticing, you know? Yeah. But then God starts to point out what they were doing while they were fasting. We can see an example in verse 4. Indeed, you fast for strife and debate and to strike with the fists of wickedness. You will not fast as you do this day to make your voice heard on high. So God's saying, you are fasting. Yes, you're abstaining yourself from food, but you're not changing your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. In fact, you're still continuing to do the wicked things that you were doing. But what's God's acceptable way of fasting? And this is God down the line in, in the chapter. 
and is saying in at the end of verse 5 in an acceptable uh sorry um uh, verse 6 he's saying is this not the fast that i have chosen to loose the bonds of the wickedness to undo the heavy burdens to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke is it not to share your bread with the hungry and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out yes. when you see the naked that you cover him mm -hmm. and not hide yourself from your own flesh so there is a way of fasting that god desires in us and there is a way where we might see as fasting but in reality it's not acceptable to god he he's not impressed by it and also it could be just a diet right oh, I'm, i need to fast for a week but you're doing it after christmas and you know you've gained a few kilos come on we know who you are <laughs> yeah and some people do it for tradition <clears throat> some people do it just to fit in um and some people do it with the wholehearted belief that they are trying to appease god but their hearts are doing something else their hearts are somewhere else so the, their mouth claims that this is for god but in their actions while they're fasting nothing to do with god so unfortunately it was pointless